everywhere. No, it's just that marriage is badly defined. You agree with me? Out of a hundred <laughs> couples that get married, 30 will get divorced. Your Honor, excuse me, but I have no reason to be supporting a slob. Your Honor, let's not forget that for the past four years, my client's ex-husband has not expressed... Hey guys, you're welcome. Yeah, it's good to have you. This is SED Muda. Thank you for logging on to my YouTube channel. So, a new series of um, Telemudu is in town, is in the air. So, we're watching it, keeping up with it. And there's, this is the platform, the advent. You know, we're going to talk about it. Lore of the heart, I mean it. So, when I first hearing, when I first heard that it will start airing on Telemudu um, on 15th, no, on 16th February, 2021 i actually looked forward to it like okay lore of the heart what does this mean of course yesterday um the first episode of me i was treated at this heart because this actually revolves about love life marriage and everything in that cycle what happens in between marriage because sometimes you just begin to wonder that people fall in love they love each other today they fall in love they are all over each other and before you know it the love the wife it diminishes it it diminishes to like zero percent or to the extent where they not hate each other they don't want to see each other they even want to kill each other and these are some of the things or one of the things the, it is more of realities things that happen in real life um people what people go through at every stage in their love life and in other aspects of life and of course for this to be consummated for this to be um dissolved eventually sometimes the resort to the law yes the law is the law so while i was watching this i picked at some point that i would like us to i just in fact i have a note here of some of the notable points i was <laughs> Because I actually wanted to get every glimpse of everything that was happening here because this happens day to day and I begin to wonder why people really fall out of love to that extent. But never forget that why people are falling out of love. So many people are getting in love and getting really deep and sweet in their love. So we must also not fail to acknowledge that. So I will start by saying the law is the law. And must be obeyed like i got a glimpse of that sentence by one of the actors like the law is the law and must be obeyed so whatever we do in our day-to-day -day life law is law and we must obey it and for so many nations and countries when you go against the law or you disobey the law there are consequences to it and then there are some countries who uphold their law very very much that you have to face the consequences of disobeying the law the law of the heart so um <laughs> so many things lead to divorce because people fall in love for so many reasons and one of them is because over time they realize they really do not care about their partner they really realize that they eventually they do not like their partner as much as they want to as much as they should they intended in the beginning or they are so many people fall out of love because they are failing and that responsibility either as a man as a woman as a father as a parent or whoever but just so many reasons but some of the reasons are so weird that sometimes you're like okay if these people really sit down is it that they cannot come to a compromise and make this thing work that is why and where human differs for different reasons failing as a man let's to one of uh, the divorce saying in this scene okay marriage yes what leads to liquidation of marriage what leads to the extent that people eventually decide to just stay apart and when there are kids to this a lot of do you not realize that something will definitely bring them together at every point in time ending a marriage what leads to ending a marriage he broke up because okay i think one of the guys at after the panel in the court when they were talking, the couple they were talking about it, he said that he broke up with her because he did not care. He realized, of course, she's been cheating and cheating report has it that she's been cheating and cheating all over. He was sorry they ran out of love. Yeah. So people really and truly run out of love. Love and cheating. So these are some of the things I just jotted down. Love and cheating. 
just realized everything the game is up their relationship their friendship game everything is up marriage is badly defined and so many women and men are bad as partners like they don't really care much about their family they don't even care about their kids they don't care about what is ongoing as far as they're concerned what they're concerned in the marriage is about their, themselves their benefits what they get tend to achieve and so many things really lead to divorce so many things lead to the partner saying that they want to stay separately that they really do not want to be together so in event there are kids in the marriage then what happens so this is where sometimes the divorce take a longer time like okay who takes custody of the kids of course there must be a lot of justification i'm not a lawyer in my own head i am just talking and if you're a lawyer kindly put your voice or lend your voice in this we're all learning together so who who takes custody of the kids because someone must take care of the kids someone must be responsible for caring for the kids okay of course people do this a lot divorce because they want a revenge on their partner if their partner has hit them so hard they want to revenge in the places where it, it hits their partner the most of course when you've been married for maybe some years you stay with someone for so for some time you will definitely know where and how to hurt them that it will injure them that it will hurt them too in the deep so People run out of love for so many reasons, lack of respect for each other. And when this happens, they want to hit their partner where it hurts the most. Of course, for the liquidation, they have the separation certificate. They have to file for the custody of the parents. Uh, and people wonder, why do love run out until it runs out of faith eventually? So many reasons for this are uh, cheating. The law of love, what next? Move on. So many times, when eventually these things happen, what what happens? What are people advised to do? Move on with their life. You really have to move on with their life. So many people become very or really aggressive. Of course, like a case we saw there, Mr. Benita, he was really so aggressive and aggrieved. Not because the wife cheated on him for so many reasons, but because of what he was, the law wanted him. To give to the woman as part as a partner for such a long time that he has worked all his life then how does the law how do the law expect him to leave all that for a woman who has never really shown him love all the time and all the years they were married so you see a lot of things happen in relationship and uh, so of course another thing was the bachelor saying a co a bachelor a bachelor's room saying where a guy who was about getting married of course in the evening you know what happens at such a situation the bachelor's uh, bachelor's eve so many odd things that are not supposed to happen they eventually have i think that's even like one of the offshoots of where cheating in marriage come feel oh this is the last time before i'm married so i can do whatever i love to do with um any other partner before i eventually marry or say i do the next day so it's really weird and strange so getting married okay i was okay getting married what happens at the bachelor's eve and at the bachelor's with the wedding and then of course in the wedding holy god well what happened in the bachelor's rate in the bachelor's um if it wasn't really explicit so but only for us to see on the wedding day couple being uh, of course the lady was really pretty the guy was pretty anticipating for the wedding to be consummated for the wedding to be consummated and before you know it was interrupted yes by the police force that one of the lady who was at the bachelor's raid was murdered and what next was murdered and it was attributed to the groom so what next the marriage wasn't cons the marriage to his bride wasn't consummated now he's in trouble he's in police custody looking for a lawyer to start on his behalf and then let them know what really happened at the bachelor's day i would say so far so that was what i got from from it if you're saying this series kindly let me know your interesting part of it in the comment section and then uh, i think this is really going to be an interesting series 
on Telemundo because it surrounds everyday living, what happens every day in our day-to-day -day life, particular to love life and the law and how people get to come to compromise on how to separate and move on with their individual life. So if you're saying it or if you're saying it maybe in the past, kindly let me know uh, what you think of the law of the hearts. Can you let me know what you know of it or what you think of it in the comment section until I come your way for the next episode of the law of the heart and you get I said thank you for being here with me and it was a pleasure having you. Bye.